Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Sean's the name and YouTube's the game today. A little bit of a different type of video today. Instead of actually talking about the front end of YouTube, we're gonna be talking more about the back end of YouTube. And it actually blows my mind that a lot of people who have been on YouTube before or actually post on YouTube think advertising on the platform is only for the biggest and baddest brands who get like approved or something, when in reality it's pretty much as easy as Facebook advertising, load up a couple of bucks into your account and you can start running ads pretty simply. So today I want to show you how I run $1 a day YouTube ads that actually convert pretty well for me. Lately it's been every dollar I spend generates me about $20 from the campaign, so let's get it. So let's start with a brief overview. If you can grow a business or really anything like a YouTube channel organically without having to spend money and you can do that at a rapid rate, then you're already killing it. You don't need to run ads and you should probably just stop watching this video right now. But in today's world, growing something organically takes a ton of time and even more energy and persistence to actually do. And if you're like most people who don't have those things, then you usually have to pay to play. LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and even Google are becoming more and more pay to play. Back in 2014, if you posted something to Facebook, every single one of your friends would see that post. Nowadays, when you post something to Facebook, not everyone sees it. As you probably know, these social media platforms are really decluttering what they show to each user and optimizing their platforms. They'd rather show you, the user, content that you want to see. They don't wanna show you every single piece of content that your friend posts because if you don't like that content that your friend is posting, you aren't going to engage with it, you know, like, comment, or anything, or really enjoy it. So you're probably gonna go on to a different site and that kinda of hurts that platform's engagement. So because of it, the major platforms have made it pay to play for businesses if you really wanna get seen. And here's why, because we don't like being advertised to. If we're friends with someone on Facebook who let's say is a used car salesman or a car salesman or whatever, and they post something saying, hey, I'm a car salesman, come on by, I'll hook you up with a really good deal on a car, you'll be like, okay, cool, you know, I'm supporting my friend, maybe I'll like it the first time, but the second time he posts that, and the third time, and the fourth time, and the fifth time, you're like, okay, dude, this is the same thing, you're trying to sell me a car, I do not need a car right now, I am not going to engage, you know, like and comment your post, and then, Facebook and all these other platforms are gonna read that as, well, if the user doesn't like that content, we're not gonna show that user that specific content for a while. So then that car salesman who posted that post, their engagement is going to fall tremendously. So if that car salesman wants to get more engagement and more eyeballs on his post and ultimately his business, he needs to pay for some advertising. Okay, that was a longer overview than I thought on why I'm actually making this video today. But in 2020, this trend is going to continue and the more stuff we post on social media is gonna get less and less engagement unless it's really good content. So because of this, more people are going to turn towards running ads, whether it be on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, whatever. Which is why I wanna share with you a strategy that I like to use when it comes to social media advertising and in particular YouTube on how I only spend $1 a day on a specific advertisement and it performs pretty well for me. Can you use this strategy on Facebook and LinkedIn and those other platforms? You probably can, but I do it primarily on YouTube just because like my whole life revolves around YouTube and I know it almost better than I know my mom. So I know for a fact that this works for me on YouTube. You can try it on other platforms and, uh, and I'd be interested to see what kind of results you get. But that's where I actually wanna start today because everyone likes to see results when it comes to ad campaigns. So. This is actually one of the results I'm, uh, I'm getting from one of the ads that I'm running right now. And for the most part, I'm only spending a dollar a day on it. Like, sure, there's some spurts where, you know, I'll up my budget to like $4 on some days, but for the most part, I'm running it at $1. The time I, I up it to $4 is usually when I'm running a special or like competition is really low. Oh, and in a future video, I'll actually break down how I'm able to get my CPV or my cost per view so low. So that's a good reason for you to hit that subscribe button right now. But I've spent about $80 on this ad campaign in the last 60-ish days or so, and more importantly, I've made about $2,000 off it. If you're like, wait, what, how, why, when, what? It's actually pretty simple, and maybe even some of you watching this video right now have actually 
found me and my channel off this specific ad strategy, but pretty much this ad is from a video I posted a little while ago on how to set up and use a Google Ads account in 2019. I'll actually leave the video link down below for you to actually check it out. But if you were one of the people that actually found my channel because of this ad or that video in particular, it'd actually be pretty dope. Leave me a comment down below, I'd be interested to see that. Um, but it actually is performing pretty well for a couple of reasons. Oh, and I'm actually not pitchy or salesy at all in that specific video. If you actually go down in the description, click the link to the video and go watch it, you might watch the whole video and be like, what do you, I didn't even hear what you're selling or what your product even is about. And that's the point. If you're specifically looking out for it, you might be able to pick up on it. But for the most part, I'm not being salesy or pitchy at all in that video. I'm actually just giving people really good content and trying to help them. And there's not, you know, specific data and information that can kind of back this statement up. But I truly believe that's why my ads are performing the way they're performing is because I'm being very true and genuine in that video and I'm showing people specifically how to do something that they are wondering how to do. This is again a very subjective thing and it's hard to specifically track this, but in my opinion, that's why these ads are performing the way they're performing. In that video, all I mention is the fact that I have created ad accounts in the past to give examples for the master classes that I teach. Didn't talk about price, didn't talk about even where you can find the masterclass. I literally just say, I have masterclasses. Then as people are solving this problem that they've been struggling with for so long, they really connect with my content. They connect the dots. They're searching for a specific solution to a problem. I have that specific solution to their problem. They enjoy and find value in my video. And they go, who is this guy? Let me go find more info about him. So then you go down this rabbit hole of learning not only more about me, but more about the content that I have out on the internet. And this in turn generates a self-interpreted opinion about me and my products. Not an opinion by all this mumbo jumbo sales that all these other marketers and businesses are constantly shoving down your throat. You know who you are. And don't get me wrong, you know, telling people why a product is good and why someone should buy that product is a strategy that works to an extent. It will generate you business, but my goal is always to generate efficient business. And that's the difference in my advertising strategies is for every dollar I spend, I want to get the most out of that dollar. I'm not looking to spend thousands of dollars to generate more business. I'm looking to spend the littlest amount possible and get the most out of that. And this strategy kind of reminds me of the movie Inception with Leonardo DiCaprio. If you haven't seen that movie, you need to go watch it like right now. Pause this video and go watch it. The basis of the movie is diving into someone's mind to one, extract information, and then two, to plant information or an opinion, which a self-generated opinion is so much stronger than any type of opinion that is pushed onto someone. For example, if your friend tells you, dude, BMWs are the best mid-range vehicles on the market, hands down. I've owned four of them, they're super fast, comfy, and overall, the best bang for your buck. All four BMWs that I owned have exceeded my expectations and are way above the level of Audi, Infiniti, Lexus, or even Alfa Romeos. And then from that you think, okay, cool, yeah, I see it. Your friend has a self-generated opinion about BMW because he's owned them, he's compared them, and he loves them. You, on the other hand, just kind of like them because you heard his opinion on it. Same thing about this ad strategy. I don't blast people and tell them about how amazing my products are because then those people are just gonna think, okay, cool, yeah, I see it. But if I give you something of value for free and you really find value in that, you'll naturally want to learn more. So then what do you do? You start doing a lot of research. You start comparing products. You start really getting a full idea of what me and maybe my product is all about. So then you finally pull the trigger, right? You get some paid content. Now you're that guy. That guy that's the raving fan because you did the research, you found the benefits, and you built the opinion, not someone else. And at that point, you weren't sold on the product by me or a friend or by someone else. You sold yourself that product. 
That's when you really get into that like psyche of a potential buyer and you really start to unveil that curtain of like, okay, this marketing strategy is absolutely genius. And in all honesty, I haven't seen a whole lot of other businesses and marketers doing this because I'll be totally honest with you, this isn't gonna make you a millionaire overnight and it's not gonna generate you thousands and thousands of sales because it's a process. It's not like you're pitching someone a product, they're instantly sold and they're buying your product. No, they're formulating the opinion about you and your product over time. And that's the key, is it takes time. It's a grind, honestly, it's a grind, but the results are dirt cheap. I mean, a one to 20 is pretty insane. Most other marketers aren't doing this because again, the traditional method generates business way quicker. It just requires much more money up front, much more, I guess, planning up front and much more systems up front to be able to handle an influx of students or customers like that. Like if I had 10 times or 20 times as much students or customers, um, I would have to have some systems in place to manage that. Cause then now I'm not updating courses as much cause I'm spending more time replying to students. And for me, I'm always built around quality. I would rather respond to students questions within 20 to 30 minutes and make sure that they are successful. And maybe it's only a hundred people that make that hundred people really successful than to have 10,000 people not be successful at all. Anyway, I'm getting on a tangent here, uh, back to the strategy. Bottom line, it works like this. You build something of value that your target consumer would like. You run a discovery ad on YouTube so the consumer has to actually want to click that content of yours. Then you truly just give them great content and don't be salesy about your product or business or any of that stuff. And then most importantly, you need some decent clout. Once someone likes you, they're gonna probably start searching more information about you and if you don't have statistics or backstory or anything to kind of back up and give you that social media clout, um, you're not gonna convert very well. So in my situation, when people do research on me and search around, they find that I've been on YouTube forever, I built numerous channels well above the 100 subscriber mark, and it makes sense. I don't feel the need to be salesy or pitchy about a product, I let the product sell itself. Do you wanna make six figures on YouTube? Yes, okay, here's the hundreds of other people who have done it from my course, here's where you enroll. No, or don't believe me? Okay, fine, moving on. Don't need to waste the time and try to pitch and convert that person. I'm not wasting my time, energy, and money trying to convert that buyer that's not really gonna be a great buyer for me anyway. Again, I'm driven on results. I want efficiency. If that means less students with much higher success rate with those students, I'll take that all day over tons of students with way smaller success rates. You have to want it, and if you're pitching to a consumer base that doesn't really want it, then it's a waste of your time and money, at least in my opinion. And that's pretty much it. I know this video is probably very sporadic and kind of all over the place. I was, I was trying to vomit my thoughts into a video form, but that's pretty much it. I really like to focus on self-generated opinions because it's so much stronger. Whether it's in pitching YouTube courses to people or whether it's with mortgages or whether it's with selling traditional products, no matter what business I'm actually focusing on that day, self-generated opinions are always king to me because it's way more efficient. And especially in like today's day and age and in 2020, you're gonna see so many more businesses and this is like the age of where everyone is trying to be an entrepreneur and start their own business and you're constantly getting sold and pitched at and people are just zoning everything out these days. Like I said, if you want more business, it's really simple. You go on any social media platform and you spend 10 to 25 grand on a social media ad and I guarantee you, you're gonna get more business. But is more business your goal? To me, it's not. More business to me means more time I'm spending on that business. And if I'm spending tons of money to get that business, now I'm making less money on that specific business and I'm spending more time on it. Like, doesn't really make sense. I'd rather spend less time and make more money. So if you want more efficient business, then uh, try this strategy out. Let me know what you think. I'll leave my social media links down below. You can reach out, kind of. I'd love to hear your results on it if you actually try this, if you're getting results, if you're not getting results. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I know this was kind of a different video than usual, but hopefully you business owners and entrepreneurs or marketers or whatever found some use out of this. If you did, I would appreciate it if you can hit that like button. Also subscribe if you're new around here. Always trying to give away some good free content. Love giving away as much nuggets as I can. Um, I do like to separate paid and free content though. Um, so yeah, links to everything down below. And I'm actually also working on a new masterclass right now for everything revolving around YouTube ads and YouTube marketing. Um, it's a total beast. I've been working on it for a while. 
I don't know when it's going to be done. Hopefully in the next month or two. I don't know. We'll see. I'm always focused on quality with it, though. If it takes me longer, it takes me longer. But um, yeah, once I'm done with that, I'll let you know. So another good reason to subscribe and kind of uh, hang around the channel. But otherwise, current courses are always linked down below. And uh, hopefully you learned something new. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.